Okay, so let's walk through just a few chart on like ways to get to school. So this is just you observing. There's nothing to write down. Um, but like, let's just say right now, this one right here, this is like your current way to get to school. So if this is your current way, you would score a zero for all of these things. Because that's what you're currently doing. So let's say one of your ways maybe to get to school or the ways you're thinking about is riding a bike. So when we're thinking about the ride time here, no, oh, that's not what I want to do. When we're thinking about our ride time, um, it would definitely be faster. So we'd say, look, this is a plus one. Our cost, it would definitely cost more. So we'll say this is minus one. Our safety, uh, it's probably a little safer to ride a bike. I don't know. I'm going to say it's safer. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's about the same. Um, Eco-friendliness, it's about the same as walking. And I'm not going to worry about any of their criteria. Okay, let's look at our next thought of how we could get to school. Um, riding a car, that would definitely um, be an improvement. Cost, would definitely cost more. Um, it's probably safer to be in a car. Uh, eco-friendliness, not as eco-friendly. And we're not going to worry about other criteria. I'm just going to get rid of that. Uh, or let's talk about taking the trolley. Uh, ride time, definitely an improvement. Um, cost, it is the same as walking. And safety, eh, we're going to say it's safe. We're going to assume that there's no bad people on the uh, trolley. It's actually going to be a positive one because you're probably less likely to get um, hit by something. Um, Eco-friendliness, it is probably a negative one just because you are um, putting some carbon emissions into the air. So that is if we just like had a plus one, minus one, zero kind of thing. If we did a variable one, so if we did a variable one, we could say, let's rescore this. A variable one says that I can do, let's just go variable of like um, all the way from negative three to positive three. Okay, so for my ride time for my bike, it's definitely gonna be a plus one, my cost is going to be probably a negative one still because it's going to cost me money to buy the bicycle. Um, in terms of safety, uh, it's probably a plus one. It's better than walking. Um, and eco-friendliness, it's going to be a zero because it's the same as walking. For my car, my ride time, my ride time for my car is definitely quicker than riding a bike. So I'm going to say that it's a, a plus three. For my cost, it definitely costs way more than riding a bike. So I'm going to say like this is a negative three. Um, safety, it's definitely safer than my bicycle. So maybe I'll give it like a, a positive three. We'll say eco-friendliness, uh, not so friendly. So I'm going to go negative three on that one. Okay, for the trolley, uh, trolley maybe takes a little bit more time. So I'm going to give it a plus two. It's not as good as the car. Um, for the cost, it is a zero because it's free. I don't have to do anything for it. Safety. Okay, now here's where you might say like, ah, there might be some weirdos in the trolley. It's not as safe as the car. Um, I'm going to give it a two, a plus two. And then eco-friendliness. It is not as bad as the car because there's more people in it. Um, so it's just more efficient. So maybe I'll give eco-friendliness like a negative one. Okay. So that's how you could do a um, variable pew chart. Uh, in terms of like, how do you add um, a weighted pew chart? It could be that maybe like your ride time costs or your ride time is like the most important thing to you. You don't care about the environment, but the ride time is like the most important thing. You could say that it has a weight of three. So this is where we would like weight it. The cost, uh, maybe it's like a weight of to you're a teenager, you're not really concerned about safety or eco-friendliness. So those are both ones and ones. So in that case, oh, I don't really need that one. In that case, um, this plus one here, okay, so this plus one would get converted to a plus three. This, this plus three would get converted to a 
plus nine. And this one would be a plus six. So do you see what I did there? I took this, let's go. I took this weight and I applied it to this number and this number and this number, okay? And I could do the same for the other. So this would be a negative two, a negative six. This would be a zero. My safety, they wouldn't change because I weighted them as a one. So then, this will be my like final here. If I thought about like my final importance for my non-weighted, for my non-weighted, this would be a positive one, right? My bike. For my weight, for my non-weighted, my car would be a zero, and for my non-weighted, my trolley would be a negative one. So for my non-weighted, I would choose to get a bike. For my weighted, again, I'm saying this is like my total now. For my weighted. Ah, uh, this riding my bike would be plus three, minus two, plus one. This would be a plus two. My car would be a plus three. And my trolley would be a plus five. So the trolley would win. Okay, so that's how you would do a weighted pew chart. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to, in your notes, I want you to do this pew chart worksheet. So kind of look at the pew chart and then answer these questions here. And then in class, we will go over the answers.